Welcome to this AI agent tutorial where today we will uh, create an AI agent that can go into a search engine, search about a certain topic and then write a blog post about it. And all this without knowing actually how to write code, just with using cursor and some other tools to create this AI agent. And as you can see, he's already working on the blog post for us. So right now, let me just show you how to create something like this in a couple of minutes. So after that, you can create your own AI agents and automate a lot of work that you already do. Let's get started. So now that I showed you the agent, let's also see how you can create it. And all you need for this to create this agent is a cursor account. You can download Cursor for free. They have a 14 day trial period. You can use that trial to create this agent, maybe play around with it, see if you like it. You will need Python install, installed on your device. And you will also need an API key to an LLM model. In this example, I will use uh, Anthropic. So if you want to follow along, make sure you have an Anthropic API key, but you can also use all kinds of other LLM uh, models. So any API key that works for you, it's good. You just then need to make a small change in the code and you won't be able to follow along exactly how I do it. Okay, so let's get now started with the building. So you just need to open up a uh, cursor and then we will click on open project and then we will uh, create a new folder. We can name it AI dash agent tutorial and then we just open it up. Now that we have the project opened, all we need to do is go to the right corner of the cursor window and click on the toggle panel. This will open up for us the terminal window and this is needed so I can show you how to you can check if you have Python or not installed on your device. Pretty simple, you just enter Python 3 dash dash version and as you can see for me it shows that I have Python 3.13.1 so that means I have Python installed. If for you doesn't show up, that means that you don't have Python installed that you need to make sure you install Python. How you can do that, I won't show in this video, but there are tons of videos. And even if you use cursor itself, if you just go to the top right corner and you click on toggle AI pane, uh, you can ask over there straight away in cursor how you can install it. He will explain it to you. Now the next step is we will need to check if we have pip installed on our device and i will show you also another awesome functionality of cursor if you are on the terminal window and you just hit command k you can enter here the what you want to check and cursor will write for you the terminal prompt super nice because you need to remember all these terminal prompts and sometimes you miss a dash or something and it's not working so it's really nice uh, that you have this functionality so i will ask cursor check the version of pip and he will write the prompt for us. I just need to hit enter. And as you can see, we have pip 25.0.1. So that means pip is installed on our device. And now I will ask cursor to create a virtual environment and then to activate that virtual environment. Before we go further with creating the, uh, the agent, you need to make sure that you always work in a virtual environment. Uh, I will try to explain this really quickly. So if you have a basket full of fruits, uh, that's your main environment. So that's your your device. See it like that way. And when we install the uh, when we work with the HR, we will, uh, agent, we will install all kinds of packages, so all kinds of different things that we need to use for the agent. So that's like adding a new fruit to your fruit basket. And you don't want to add a fruit that you don't know. Maybe it makes the other fruits bad or something like that, or it gets faster rotten than the rest, and then the rest will also get rotten. So see it like this. So the virtual environment is basically, you create a smaller box next to your big box, and then you put all the new fruits over there that we download, so the packages. And if something goes wrong over there, you don't make the rest of the fruits in the main basket bad or rotten or, yeah. So you can see it like this. It's a bit stupid explanation, but it makes you a bit visualize how virtual environments work. So now I will ask cursor to create a venv. That's the yeah short name of the virtual environment. So you can see Python 3 dash M that's venv. venv. So he will create a venv that we call the venv. <coughs> As you can see, it already created it. And now we just ask cursor to activate this web. Activate. Venv. And now we get the prompt to activate it. We just hit enter. And as you can see before the 
the name of my device, you can see the van in parentheses. That means that now we are working in a virtual environment. So it's more or less safe to download all kinds of packages. So all we need to do is clear and we make the terminal look a bit better. And now we're going to start to actually work on the agent itself. Before we go and work on the agent, let's go to the cogwheel, that's the cursor settings. And I will show you one of the main things I like to use cursor. So if you click on this one and then you click on features and then you scroll down a little bit, you have here docs and then we just go add new doc. The agent we will create using the Agno uh, Gentic framework, a super nice framework, uh, lets you create agents in a really easy way. And they also have really good docs, really uh, nicely documented and all with example code. So it's super nice and I find it really user friendly, even though I'm a noob in this topic. So I think it's really nice for beginners and it's also easier for you guys that watch this video because I, I assume you are all beginners. So what we need from the Agno page is just the URL of the of the docs. Then we go back to cursor. We click on add new doc. Then we just paste this over here. I think we can even remove this and then you just hit enter and you add the docs to your cursor account. I already have it, so I don't need to do that. Uh, and then the next step is to create the prompt. So now we will ask cursor to create the agent for us based on the Agno docs. And this is where you need to be really specific what you want. And it took me a while to figure out how to prompt cursor exactly to understand what I want and how I want to create the agents because <coughs> it can go really wrong sometimes. And another thing that we need to keep an eye on is that in cursor you have two main functionalities. You have the chat functionality and then you have the composer functionality. And the composer functionality you can use in normal and you can also use in agentic mode. In agentic mode, it's really like he does all his, the things on his own. He creates prompts in the terminal, he runs them and all those things like that. So he goes really through the whole step of creating the app or the tool, the tool that you want. The main issue with the agent functionality at this stage is that you can only use it with two models. So over here, you can select which LLM you want cursor to use. And if you use the agentic function, you can only use cloud 3.5 and GPT 4.0. And if I'm honest with you, these two are really bad <laughs> in reading docs. So I really like to use O3 mini and O1, but now that O3 became available, I like to use O3 and sometimes Gemini 2.0 when I'm using prompts in combination with docs from outside source. So right now the Agno page, because these two models are really good at reading docs, following the docs exactly and creating the tool or the app how I want it and based on the docs. So what I will do right now is I will create the prompt. <coughs> so, and to not take up your time, the prompt I already created. So I will just copy and paste it over here. So what the prompt says is, I want to build an AI agent based on the docs, see at Agno docs. And when you are typing in this window, you can hit add, and then you just reference your docs. You just need to hit add, and then you go and reference what you want to reference. In this case, I go to docs, enter, and then Agno. And this is the magic of cursor. So right now we are referencing the docs that we just added. So I want to build an AI agent based on the Agno docs, see docs at Agno. And then I explain to him what I want exactly. So what I want the agent to do is the following. Search using the doc.go tools for topics that I asked from the agent, summarize that, that topic and create a short blog post. This is now just for an example and use the following things. So the following things that I want to be included in the uh, agent. First of all, use Anthropic as the LLM model because Agno has, can use all kinds of LLMs. So every LLM model that's out there, you can combine it with your Agno agent. So you need to be specific, which one do you want? And I want Anthropic because that's where I have right now the API key. Create the requirements.txt. That's the file we need to install before we run the agent. That's download, that will download all kinds of packages for us so we can actually run the agent. Make sure I can test it in terminal and add a login to it so I can see what the agent does. That's just more for testing and to see what really happens when you work with the agent. Also add an input field where I can define the topping. That's also for the terminal. And I forgot to mention, create the .env file. I have the API key. 
So <clears throat> this is also important because uh, uh, yeah, with the .env file, that's where we will store safely our API key. And then basically that's it. I can even, I think he will do that, the lot, uh, load uh, .env, but let's see, I'm not going to confuse him. And I will use O3 mini for this because I have really good experience with O3 mini in combination with docs. I just copied the prompt so I can share it with you later in the descriptions of the video so you don't have to write it, you just have to copy it. So let's see what he will do right now. <clears throat> so as you can see, he went into the docs, he read through all the docs that we provided and then he explains his steps and what he did. So this agent takes a topic from terminal input, uses DocDocGo to search for that topic, and then summarize the results into a short blog post. It uses entropy as an LM model, adds logging for debugging, and, and he is working right now in the background uh, from the .env file. So he named it blog agent.pi. He created the code. We will go to the code in just a second. Now he goes into creating the requirements. He also created the .env and then he tells me how I can run this agent. But first of all, let's accept all the changes and then let's go just quickly through this uh, file that he created. So we have the .env to load the API key that we, I will show you how to create and to add to this. And after that, he gets the agent uh, framework in from Egno, so this is this line. Then he imports the tool, which where he made a mistake because this is not correct. That's Egno.models.entropic that has to be clawed if I'm not mistaken. So you, this is how you import clawed into the agent. He messed that one up, so we will need to change a few more things over here. And then he imported DocDocGo tools. That's correct, actually. So that's good. Okay. Um, now we will need to make sure that we use the correct model. Yeah, this is has to be. We also need to change this because he imported the incorrect version. So now we need to make sure that we change this line over here. Don't worry. I will share this code with you so you can just test it in your cursor account if you want. And then there are a few other things. So this is where the agent is created. So this is the definition of the agent. He defines the model over here. Then he defines which tools we want to use. Then the description uh, for the agent and then the instructions for the agent. So this is like basically your prompt. And this is the role of the agent. So we describe for the agent, what are you, what we expect from you. And then the in, in the instructions, we will basically say what he needs to do. And then the rest is just for the terminal so we can test the agent itself. First of all, let's go through the instructions that we got from our cursor account, <laughs> cursor to see what we need to do. So create and activate your virtual environment that we already have, run pip install that requirements. So we need to install the requirements. We can actually copy this prompt because this is really nice. With this, we will install all the packages over here. We need this in order to be able to run the agent. So that means we're going to download Agno. We will download DocDoc search from the Agno toolbase and also python.env that helps us to load in the API key from this uh, .env file. We also need to install Anthropic, because otherwise the LLM model won't work. So these are the things that he sometimes just messes up. I am sure he knows, but yeah, <laughs> whatever. So let's just enter this prompt and then hit and enter. Now he will, as you can see, he downloads all kinds of files. They are not big files, like 13 kilobytes and stuff like that. So nothing to worry about. So now we are ready to use the agent, basically. All we need to do is fill in your Anthropic API key in the .env file. So now if you followed along and you have an Anthropic API key, all you need to do is replace this part with your actual Anthropic API key. I will show you how to create it. So if you are in your uh, Anthropic uh, console, all you need to do is go to API keys and then create key, uh, name your key. So for this one, um, 
agent tutorial tutorial and then add and then this is your api key don't worry i show you this api key by the time the video is posted this api key will be deleted i just show this to you so you see how i do it and what you need so you can follow along exactly all the steps so now that i copied the api key i just need to replace this one with the api key that we copied and then i save this file and then i think we are ready to test this agent so to be able to test it in the terminal let's first clear the terminal so can, we can see what happens and as you can see uh, cursor already provided us the prompt so i just need to copy this paste it over here and then hit enter and now the agent will uh, start up so we are prompted to enter a topic so i will say google ads something simple and now we can see that the agent starts to run starts to think we can summarize topic google ads whoa looks like something is going wrong over here but let's see and wait what will happen i think all these thing kings topages look weird but i think he's done yes okay i have an idea why this is happens we don't have actually all the loggings so probably the entropic api sent back some error or something like that but looks like it's working so he says i will research so he went to dr go and he researched for uh, google ads so he actually went with this query, Google Ads, how it works, benefits, best practices. Okay. So he went and read through the articles that he found and the master in Google Ads, your guide to digital advertising success. So this is actually the start of our blog post. Words has become an indispensable tool for business looking to increase, blah, blah, blah. What is Google Ads? Key benefits, best practices, all kinds of things. And then no service with Google Ads frequent platform. So this is basically like a small blog post. Obviously, this is not something that you want to publish on a website, probably won't rank. It's not quality content, but this is just to show you how fast and how easy you can create an agent. And then after this, you just need to go and add other tools to it, uh, expand on it. Uh, yeah, create it as your own if you follow the agno agno docs then you can do all kinds of other things with it you can add your own knowledge base to it so how you how you want the agent to write a blog post for you what kinds of other resources you want it to use if you read through the agno docs there are so many other things all kinds of other tools so basically it has also like uh, youtube tools that can go into youtube video get the transcript of the youtube video and create a blog post uh, based on that or create a linkedin post based on that or yeah whatever uh, there are many many use cases and this video is just basically to show you how easy it is even if you can't code so for example i can't really write code i understand basic things and stuff like that but definitely it's not enough to create an agent and if you work together with cursor you combine the docs uh, you provide cursor enough help and you start testing these things yourself you start breaking a few things you can really really easily create basic agents like this one over here i can just only recommend to uh, go and to test it yourself and uh, create your own agent if you know how to create a basic agent after that it's not that hard to go and create a better one if you want to learn more about agents uh make sure to subscribe to my channel because i will post all kinds of other videos this was just just a basic tutorial but i will also show how i build more complicated agents so all that's uh, coming in the future and yeah let me know in the comments if this was good or if you want this in a different format or in a different way uh, i'm open to all kinds of feedback and yeah thanks for watching take care